What's up guys, this is Andrew with Diamond Graphics. This week's video, we were gonna kinda show you the different kind of vinyls that we have access to and how they kinda act different. So a lot of the times when people come in, um, they've seen something online that they like or they want us to give them suggestions. So we use probably six or seven different vinyl manufacturers here. Uh, I'll kind of run through some of the main ones we use and I'll show you some of the more exotic films show you just a couple things about them, how they act, how they stretch, and things like that. Two of the main companies that we use are Avery Denison and 3M. So this is an Avery film. Uh, it's pretty thin, it's relatively easy to install. I'll just kind of show you a stretch test on this one. So get the film nice and hot, you can stretch it. So you can see this film went pretty much 100% back to where it was. So Avery is a film we use a lot, we really like it. It's relatively thin, it's easy to use. Um, let me show you a different one. The next film that we use a lot is 3M. 3M pretty much is the same install as an Avery, uh, but this one I'm gonna use is a textured film, like a carbon fiber, just show you how that stretches. So again, the 3M film is pretty thin, stretches back really well. The one thing with textured films is if you notice that they, uh, they rip very easily. So you gotta be careful about that installing. And if you overheat it and overstretch it, the pattern will look a little bit different. But 3M is another film we use quite a lot here. Another more specialty film we use is uh, KPMF. This film is a little bit more expensive than your standard 3M or Avery. Uh, but they have some really nice finishes on them. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit harder to install. You can see for the most part, this pretty much went back to its original look. Again, KPMF is a really good brand. Um, this film though does also have a tendency to rip if you're uh, installing it incorrectly, just something to pay attention to. Another film is uh, Oracle. Oracle is not as common of a film that we use, but we do have access to them. Um, we have done plenty of wraps in them. This film is a little bit thicker than the 3M and the Avery. Uh, it's also a little bit stickier, so it'll need more heat when you're installing it. But again, this film is, is also high quality, so it stretches back to what it originally looked like. This Oracle film is thick, but this one does not rip very easily. If you notice, it's pretty thick. If you're not really gonna run into accidentally ripping the film while you're installing it. Another high quality brand that we use not that often is Hexus. They have a lot of really nice colors. Again, this is a thicker film. It's also a little bit stickier than your 3M and your Avery. So the Hexus film, again, this is a very good film little bit thicker. Rip wise, you're not gonna really have to worry about ripping it accidentally. Another film we have access to is Arlon. Um, they don't really make a lot of color change films anymore, um, but they're coming out with new stuff here and there, so. This kind of acts like your um, Hexus, Hexus and Oracle film. Again, this one's a little bit thinner than the Hexus and the Oracle. But again, it's not really just gonna rip on you randomly. So now we have a piece of a Nosatec film. Um, this is a film that's pretty new to the market. It has a very thick cap sheet on it, so you have to remove that before installing. And uh, it also has a clear backing paper, which just makes the glue lines a little bit less noticeable once it's on the car. This film is much thicker than the other ones, so when you're installing it, you do need a lot of heat. Again, this, this film is so thick that you really don't have to worry about ripping it. I almost can't even rip it. This is a film we really don't use here much, but this is a Vivid film and it's chrome, so I wanna kinda show you the difference uh, with chrome than other films. This one probably won't stretch, or once I heal it, it's not gonna look the same it did before I tried to stretch it. So you can see already, I didn't even put my fist through it yet, but it already discolored the chrome just from heating it. 
So see how white it looks now compared to the rest of it? So that's why we choose not to use some cheaper films because you're really, even if you save some money on the vinyl itself, you're really not gonna get the desired look that you wanted. And for ripping wise, this is super thick. It will rip once you get it, but you're not really gonna have to worry about ripping it. With this film, you're gonna have to worry about discoloring it pretty easily. And then we have a no-name Chinese film that we just got off eBay, just to kind of show you the difference of what a cheap film versus uh, a high quality film, how it will act. So this film did stretch back, it still looks good. I did install this on one of my personal cars just to see how it held up. And this film, if you had any sort of recess area, within a couple months the film would already break um, and just not hold up. You can see how easy this tears again compared to some of those other films. Um, it's almost like a, a, a thick paper. So again, that's why we try to use only the high quality films when we're doing an install for your car so it will hold up over time and not turn into something like this. So that was just kind of a rough overview of the different films and how they act. So if you guys have a specific film you want to see us do little demos on or try out, let us know. But if you're looking for a film that you see online and it's a really cool color, looks good in pictures, when you come to us and we suggest maybe not to use that film, that's probably the reason why, is because it's a really low quality, it's not gonna hold up, it's not gonna look as good as it does in those pictures you see online. So if you guys have any more questions about vinyl, feel free to leave us a comment. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more videos.